In this video, I'll walk through some examples of taking integrals, one in which we end up with a logarithm as the answer, and the other one is taking the integral of a logarithm. The first one is evaluate the integral of x squared over 4x to the third minus 6. This is a good candidate for u substitution, and usually you take the, the larger part of, of the integrand as the u or the part that if you took the derivative of it, you would get the other part. And I'm speaking very loosely with parts here. So I'm going to say 4x to the third minus 6 is u. u equals 4x to the third minus 6. du then, because when we use the u substitution, we, we uh, get a u, and then we take the derivative of that. du then is 12x squared dx. Remember the dx. Now what we're going to do is try to substitute something in for x squared dx. Well, we almost have it. We almost have the x squared dx, but we've got this 12 hanging around. So what can we do to get rid of this 12 so that it just looks like x squared dx? Just this. Well, let's divide by 12. So now I have 1 12th du equals x squared dx. And now we can substitute. We can say 1 12th du is what we'll, we're plugging in for x squared dx. All right, let's do that. So I'm going to put that down here. The integral of 1 12th du, I'll put that right there. I spread it out because what I'm putting in the middle of uh, multiplying all this stuff is the 1 over u, because this part is our u. So 1 over u. So now I have 1 twelfth times 1 over u du. Now, the little secret that I'm going to let you in on is that, well, it's not a secret. You may already know it, and that is the integral of 1 over u is the natural log of u plus the constant, of course. So think about it this way. If you took the derivative of the natural log of u, you would end up with 1 over u. So that's why that is the antiderivative or the integral of 1 over u. 1 over 12 is just a constant, so that's just going to tag along. So I'm going to have as my next step 1 over 12 times the natural log of, it's actually the absolute value of. I've got to be very careful there. It's the absolute value of u and then plus c. And now we're going to plug in this part all over again for u. So I have 1 12th times the natural log of the absolute value of 4x to the third minus 6 plus c. So that's the answer to the first one. And that absolute value has to do with, uh, you know, you can't take the natural log or you can't take a logarithm of a negative number. So uh, that's, why, that's why we have to put the absolute value bars there. Okay, the next one has a logarithm in it. So what are we going to do with that? Well, the u substitution in this case is going to be x to the fifth because the reason we're going to do that is because... Uh, the derivative of x to the fifth looks like 5x to the fourth. It's actually exactly 5x to the fourth. I simplified this one. So I'll say u equals x to the fifth. And then with the process that we're using the uh, u substitution, we take the derivative of that u. And so du equals 5x to the fourth dx. So we're golden with that, and because I'm using the golden color, so that's good. We're, um, we're able to substitute that directly, and the 5x to the, uh, the u goes in for x to the fifth. We still have a natural log there, so the next step I'm going to write is the integral of the natural log of u du, of course, because we plugged in uh, du for 5x to the 4th times dx. That's right here. Now, the integral of the natural log is, is an interesting integral. It is actually, uh, there's some elegant um, 
methods to, to find this uh, uh, using properties of the logarithm and, and e to the power of and stuff like that. But I'm going to kind of jump to it here. So I'm going to say this equals the u times the natural log of u. We don't necessarily need the absolute value here, but the natural log of u, I'll put it in parentheses because I know a lot of books show it that way. So the, the integral of natural log of u du equals u times natural log of u minus u plus a constant. And of course, if you had a multiplier here, you would have to multiply that by all of this stuff, including this u. Uh, I'm going to plug this x to the fifth back in for all the u's that we see here, and we will be finished. So in the end, we get x to the fifth multiplied by the natural log of x to the fifth minus x to the fifth plus c. And that is the antiderivative, or the integral of the natural log.